What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Beverage Hunters. I'm Justin. I'm Tim. And today we have a new brewery that we actually haven't done on the channel yet. Yeah, it's, I mean, they've been around, but we've just never tried them. And I saw this one today and I saw the name and I had to buy it just because of the name. Mm -hmm. And it is called The Brood Abides. The Brood Abides. It is a white Russian inspired milk stout. Obviously, the name kind of gives the movie away that it's based on. Uh, so if you have not seen it, go watch The Big Lebowski. It's great, oh. classic, amazing movie. And it made me start drinking white Russians. So and I should probably go watch that movie. Yes. It is funny. Great, funny movie. Right on. Well, uh, Pelican Brewing Company was born at the beach in Pacific City in 1996. Uh, now they're in Tillamook, Oregon. And uh, yeah, they've actually grown to be one of the bigger breweries in the Northwest. Pretty cool to have that, you know, right here, Pelican Brewing, nice. born at the coast. But uh, yeah, guys, this they have quite an array of uh, beer out there. Oh yeah, they got a ton. Lots. And uh, I was very excited this is a milk stout. I really like milk stouts. Stouts in general. Yeah, see stouts, I like stouts. They're not my favorite, but I had to buy this. It is their seasonal release, so it's only gonna be around for you know, a few months. Or however, <laughs> yeah, however long their season runs. Some are quarterly, some are, you know, thirds, who knows. But, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely down, always down to try new beers that uh, remind me of great movies, so. All right. I am ready to try this bad boy. All right, so the Brood Abides comes in at 7% alcohol, has 25 IBUs, 17 degrees Plato. Yeah, and let's see, they gave us a little uh, description here. So it is brewed and bottled in Tillamook, Oregon. Uh, all brewers like a cocktail from time to time. But how about the best of both worlds in this cocktail-inspired beer? Taking inspiration from the classic white Russian cocktail as well as the movie that made it famous is The Brood Abides, a milk stout with vanilla, coffee, and cocoa. This unique beer pours of chocolate color with dense off-white head and entices the senses with an aromatic bouquet of vanilla, coffee, and dark chocolates. And it is brewed with Coffee, cocoa, okay. lactose, lactose, and vanilla. vanilla. Let's uh, let's do this. I'm gonna do the honors because do I am honors. excited for it. Bro, ooh, smells delicious. Show them some All color. Right, let's do this. Ooh, look at that. It's dark, bro. Mm, I love stouts. This time of year is perfect for stouts too. Nice and cold outside, need something to warm up your insides. Look at that bad boy. Take that whiff. Oh, man. Can you smell even better? <sighs> smell that. Oh, look at this, you cannot see through this. That is one it is dark, dark stout. You get that dark chocolate, maybe a little vanilla notes in it. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm well, of, I actually gonna share the glass. I, I guess I <laughs> wasn't even thinking, and I just enjoyed the beautifully pouring it. All so, of the uh, okay. Um, I just enjoyed how beautiful it was. I'll try it from the bottle. He'll try it from the glass. So here we go. The uh, white Russian. Ooh, that's pretty uh, carbonated. Hmm. I'm getting more dark chocolate. I'm getting the most dark chocolate. Almost a little bit of hops in there. Mm -hmm. See, I'm like trying to find the other uh, the other uh, flavors for the the white Russian in there, and I'm mainly like I'm just getting that thick dark mm -hmm. chocolate. I'm kind of getting an aftertaste of vanilla. Yeah, it's, it's very faint vanilla. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of the cocoa and the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm really pulling out of it. But I mean, not bad. No. Like, like it's, 
It's got that kind of a thick characteristic, but the uh, fizziness really makes it feel lighter. Yeah. And it's also, for only being 7% and 25 easy. IBUs, like easy drinker. It's an seven. easy drinker. Definitely an like, easy drinker. You don't even get that. You don't even feel like it's a 7%er. Mm -hmm. You don't get any alcohol flavoring. You just get that thick, dark chocolate flavor with that vanilla aftertaste. That is a tasty beer. It's good, dude. Not bad. Not yeah. bad at all. I mean, I don't I, know. I don't know if I'd buy it every, I mean, I'd buy it one, you know, cup, yeah. like when it's seasonal, just because, oh, hey, it's kind of winter time, but yeah, I was way more excited oh. for it than, uh, than it, I mean, mm -hmm. it turned out pretty good. For, but. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, for being a milk stout, it's pretty <clears throat> carbonated. Yeah. You get that re really t f fizzes in your mouth. Like it's not, yeah. it's not that like, like the uh, nitro we did mm. or just real smooth oh, yeah. beer. Well, and this is more of a just, almost IPA style milk style. Yeah. And I, I mean, I know the, a lot of Pelican's beers are IPAs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, it's no surprise that they would kind of make it the similar. I mean, yeah, but I've never tried a milk stout that was like this. So mm. definitely it's, it's, it's different. Very unique, yeah. It's good. I'm not downing it, but it's just very different. Mm. Rich flavor. It's light. It's easy to drink. Yeah. I mean, it's... you could drink a whole six pack of these in a day and just feel good. Yeah. But it'll probably sneak up on you because it's seven percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so spread them throughout the day. Sip on it. Yeah. Don't don't just pound them. Like I gotta drink all six. <laughs> no. They're sippers on a on a nice chilly day like today. Like, I, I would have loved to have this, like, right after work, just crack one yeah. open and Cold, have one of these. Cold, rain, yeah. this. Mm. So. If I'm gonna rate it uh, between a one and 10, I'm gonna go 6.5. 6.5, I think that's a good for me. For me, as far as milk stouts go, when I drink a milk stout, I like that thick, mm -hmm. rich, smooth drinking. This is more brighter, more you know fizzy type of a deal yeah, going on. It, it's definitely like something you'd have to get used to because yeah. if you're so used to regular milk stouts, like this would be like, ooh, this it's carbonated, it's fizzy, it's bubbly, like it's totally it, it's a different thing. Yeah, it's more of a but, beer style of a yeah. milk style. So it's easy to drink, but yeah, six point five for me. If I give it a thumb and a half up, because I'm not yeah, you know, it's not my favorite. But it's interesting enough to get more than just a thumb. Yeah. One. Like just the way it's brewed, the, the good flavor to it, like definitely more than just a, a one, a single thumb up. But uh, but yeah. You're like, not bad guys. Definitely not gonna get the coveted two thumbs up. So. Go pick it up for yourselves. Let us know what you think down below of Pelican's The Brood Abides. And let us know what you think of this white russian inspired milk stout thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe leave a like and we'll see you next again. time and if it's on facebook make sure you just follow and then share the video exactly do all the fun social media stuffs twitter instagram facebook youtube we're on all of them now how do you like this by the way isn't that cool it's brand new look at that it's all bright and shiny and stuff wow, Ooh. wow. okay bye bye mom I feel all official now with the laptop in front of me. I know. I'm just like, oh, I got notes and shit. It's like we should have it there the whole time, just so you can't just like look it up on demand. You should. And I like, think I might just start. If you it. ever do like a, you know, get enough followers to do a live thing, there you just go. have it there I answering can... comments. See, and stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. <laughs>